Hi guys, welcome to Electrical Project channel. Today I'll show you how to build simple but pretty powerful audio amplifier. The key feature of this amplifier that it uses just one MOSFET transistor, but also will need 47 kilo ohm resistor, 4.7 microfarad capacitor, 1000 microfarad capacitor and a 21 watt 12 volt light bulb. The light bulb can be replaced with a resistor, but finding such a powerful resistor is a problem. That's why I decided to use a light bulb instead. Also we'll need an audio jack, a heatsink and wires. Before building it, let's take a look at the circuit diagram. As you can see, it's really simple. The first step. Let's strip all three black wires and solder them to the source lead of the MOSFET. One black wire I'll use for powering. The second I'll connect to the loudspeaker and the third I'll connect to the audio jack. Now let's connect 47 kilo ohm resistor between gate and drain leads of the MOSFET. Now let's strip the red wire and let's connect it to the plus lead of 1000 microfarad capacitor and let's solder it to drain lead of the MOSFET. Now let's solder the plus lead of 4.7 microfarad capacitor to the gate lead of the MOSFET. Now let's solder a thin red wire to 4.7 microfarad capacitor. Later I'll connect another side of this wire to the audio jack. As always I don't have a socket for the light bulb, so I'll solder the wires directly to it. Light bulbs don't have polarity, so it doesn't matter to which terminal you solder the wire. And now let's solder the yellow wire to the light bulb. This wire later will be connected to the power source. And now we need to solder the last wire. We need to solder this brown wire to 1000 microfarad capacitor. Now this device is almost ready. So let's solder the audio jack to it. And now let's connect the loudspeaker. In my case I need to solder the wires. So let's do it. Now don't forget to mount the transistor to the heatsink. The MOSFET transistor produces a lot of heat, so a heatsink is necessary. Before turning everything on, make sure that this part doesn't touch the heatsink or any other components. Otherwise, there is a good chance that you can kill your audio card. Use insulation tape if necessary. Now let's connect it to the power source and see what it's capable of. Now let's connect it to the phone and test it. Well, it works. It's pretty loud. If you have any questions about this project, as always, ask them in the comments below. And that's it for today, thanks for watching, see you next time!